So with that being said, I would love to do a little bit of breathing, of movement. It'll all be really gentle. You'll be seated the whole time. So I want to start by saying that, um, you know, for a trauma-informed practice, it, what's really important is that you are in control and that I just, just give invitations, right? I give suggestions, but it's really you that knows what's best for you. And if the breath retention is too much, you stop, right? And you really feel what works for you. We're going to start with a breath practice called cyclic sighing. And I got this from Dr. Andrew Huberman, who if you're interested in like health and well-being, I highly recommend his YouTube channel, the Huberman Lab, Huberman Podcast, for great kind of health and well-being um, tips and techniques. So he talks about this as a really, really great way to very quickly bring down our anxiety. It's going to be an inhale through the nose. We're going to pause. Then we're going to sip in a little more air just to really inflate those lungs. We're then going to sigh out of the mouth. So your, your mic's off, your video's off if you want. So it's just you. Go for it. So we'll start by taking a deep breath in through the nose. Pause. Take a bit more air. Feel those lungs inflate. And then sigh it out the mouth. And we're going to do that a few more times. You can go at your own pace. Breathe in. A bit more. And out the mouth. Just like that. A few more. Last one. Beautiful. And so just start to notice, has that shifted your physical state at all? My leg is asleep, so I'm just kind of pounding it a bit. <laughs> um, but just kind of notice there's like really, really quick, easy ways. I think breath work is this really exciting thing now where everyone's talking about it and everyone's recognizing how quickly we can change um, our nervous system, you know, and that's a really empowering thing. So the next breathing technique that we're going to do is called box breathing. Um, we're going to inhale for a count of four. We're then going to hold for a count of four. We'll exhale for, for a count of four and then hold. And so if this is too intense for you, you hold for two. You, sorry, you inhale for two, hold for two, exhale for two, hold for two, um, or any other version of that. Okay, so we'll start with a deep breath in through the nose. And then let it all out the mouth. Breathe in. One, two, three, four. Hold one, two, three, four. Out one, two, three. Four, hold one, two, three, four. Breathe in and hold. Breathe out and hold. Last time, breathe in. And hold, full at the top. Exhale. And hold at empty. Beautiful. Now coming into a nice straight spine, feeling your sits bones grounding down, you're rooted, you're connected to the earth beneath you. Rising up through the length of your spine, the crown, the top of our head is reaching for the sky as our sits bones ground down, right? We are this physical being that is somewhere between, you know, the heaven and the earth. 
this sort of interesting place in between. And so from here, this nice tall spine will bring an ear to our shoulder, feeling a stretch along the side of the neck, a place that carries, for many of us, quite a bit of tension. And so we don't judge that. We simply notice, right? It's this focused, present moment, non-judgmental awareness where we begin to notice sensations in the body with acceptance. Slowly bringing the chin toward the center of the chest and then rolling to the other side, ear to shoulder. And it's interesting here when we do these poses using both sides to notice if one side is a little more tight than the other as a way to again become more intimate with our body, with our experience. And so slowly we'll roll the chin towards center and over to that first side, back down. And over to the second side, slowly bringing the spine nice and tall. Another place in our body that we tend to carry a lot of tension is the shoulders. We'll roll the shoulders up, breathe in. Breathe out as you roll them back. So we're doing these nice big shoulder rolls. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. Good, once more. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna come, I'm gonna go a little bit further back. Sorry about the ambulance, downtown Toronto for you. Um, so we're gonna do the, what's called a cat cow. And so a cat cow um, spinal movement. We roll the shoulders like we've done before. We breathe in, we lift the heart up as the tailbone goes back. So we're creating this C shape with the spine. We breathe in, elongate the front line of the body. And then we exhale, we tuck the tailbone under, tuck the chin around the spot. So we're creating that curve, lengthening the back line. Breathe in, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. And exhale, tuck the tail, tuck the chin around. And so you'll keep going just like that, exploring each vertebra of your spine and moving energy as you breathe in to lengthen the front line of the body and breathe out to lengthen the back line. And so that's really what yoga is. It's this, it's this linking of our breath to our movement. as a way to remain in this present moment. Beautiful. And after you've done your next exhale, we'll come to that nice long, tall spine, bringing one of our hands down by our hip. You could, if you're on a chair, that's cool. You can bring it on your, your um, chair arm, that's what it's called. And then we'll bring our other arm up as we inhale and over as we exhale, coming into a side bend. And so we're gonna feel that length along the sideline of the body, lengthening, expanding, breathing nice and soft. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna to come to a twist. So we're gonna bring this hand to the opposite knee, right? <laughs> it's easier when we're in person. Next time, hopefully we will be. And then we're gonna hold, hold on. If you're on the back of the chair, you can hold on to the back of the chair or ground your hands behind you. Inhale, get tall, exhale, twist. So it's not about twisting as far as you can, but can you keep that open chest, that long spine, as you begin to curve the body towards the side and notice what sensations arise. And so that's another beautiful thing about yoga. We enter some resistance. We don't push past you know, our edge. We stay in that realm. But maybe there's a little bit of resistance, but we can breathe through it, right? And so that's the resilience, I think, connected to the resilience that Dr. Tripp was, and his colleague and his um, students were talking about, you know, that like there's just that little bit of resistance, but we can breathe through it. 
Inhale, come back to center. Notice the difference one side to the other. And then we'll do second side, hand by hip or on that chair arm. Other arm lifts up as we inhale, lift up, exhale, bending over to the side. So hopefully you notice that even just a few minutes of a mindful movement practice, can connect us with our body, connect us with the moment, relieve some stress in the body and maybe even in the mind. But there's no wrong way to do it. And then we come to that twist, bringing our supportive hand behind us and our lifted arm to the opposite knee. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, we twist. Keeping the sp spine long, keeping the heart open. and maintaining those nice deep breaths. And then we'll slowly come back to center. And just coming to that nice tall spine, letting the shoulders roll down the back. Feeling your sits bones grounding, your crown reaching for the sky. If you feel comfortable to do so, softly closing the eyes. And as you close your eyes, for those of us who are sighted, we take about 80 to 90% of our information through the visual field. When we close the eyes, we turn that awareness inwards. Can you anchor your awareness to the breath? And so we're not changing the breath. We're simply becoming aware of the natural breath. Noticing that your body is breathing for you. You don't have to do or think about anything to breathe. And it's this really miraculous thing that our body is so wise and even when we feel like our body is against us or there's something wrong, we forget all the ways that our body is working exactly as it should and how much of a miracle it is that all these systems of the body are working together to allow us to be here right now. And so we simply become aware of where you feel the breath. It might be your nostrils or your chest or your stomach. And your mind may wander and that's okay. That's what the mind was designed to do. When, you're, when you notice that your mind has wandered, we gently guide it back to the breath. No matter what pain we're feeling, discomfort, joy, sadness. As John kabat says, the full catastrophe of living. Can we bring a little bit of acceptance? And maybe even more than acceptance, can we bring in some compassion for what we've been through, for what we are dealing with? for what our fellow journeyers are dealing with. But really just for now, just for ourselves, for our own body. I used to be so angry at my body. And now I recognize how powerful and how strong to, to go through all of these different challenges. So just give yourself some compassion, maybe even bring your hands right onto your heart. And just give yourself that lit moment to invite in gratitude, to thank your body for all he or she has been through. And to just tell yourself that you're here for you through it all. 
And to just feel that energy of everyone here together. And we'll take a deep breath in through the nose and out the mouth. Thank you so much for inviting me to be part of your evening tonight. Um, if you wanna just go to the last, can we go back to the presentation and just to that last slide, I just wanna make sure that whoever wants to connect with me um, knows how. So my name is Montana. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear about your journey or and how, if this has been helpful. Um, so it's at Montana Skirka, montanaskirka.com. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone.